slot in the academy for April 4th. In order to put that person in the academy, uh, as before, we'd come before you and ask for uh, transfer monies, well actually appropriations, and this year we went to a policy on transferring uh, out of overtime. The problem is there is not, uh, there's not any money in that account to cover that. Um, I don't have, other than salary, my salary, uh, which you could appropriate from because I do have a retirement, so but you can't. No, but I'm not going to. Because it's going to run out on a retirement. <laughs> right, it'll run out on a retirement. So, um, and is everybody, did everybody get the sheet that I sent? The uh, a, Basically, there's uh, the polygraph, the psych, and the medical exam, which are required to do um, post-tuition and uniforms and equipment. Questions? Motion? Yeah, you got a question? Go ahead. Well, I'd like to make a motion to restore the original request for 64000 to the 2014 and 2015 police budget for salaries, restoring the funding. No, this is, um, oh. this is a special appropriation for oh, that the class. prior year. For, for this, this year. current year. year. Yeah, you're, the motion that okay. you're looking to read is down the road. Gotcha. Would you like to make a motion to appropriate ten thousand five hundred fifty-two dollars? Sure. Where is that money coming from? Contingency, it should be. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to. We have eighty-eight thousand left on us. Well, we have eighty-seven three now, so if you take out ten, we got yeah, close enough. Two hundred sixty-six. Good enough. All right. Does someone want to make that motion? Got almost a year. I'll make a motion to appropriate $10,552 in contingency for the hiring of an officer to replace a uh, recent retirement. Second. We have a motion to second any discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Abstentions? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chief. Chief. Right, next item, we're going to discuss finalizing the 2014 2015 proposed operating budget. We're going to start with the Board of Education. Um, you're new to answer questions and let us know you, you're aware of what the uh, board selectman reduction was. Would you like to make a comment or statement or anything like that before we discuss it? You want us to ask you questions? However, you'd like Well, are you happy with the the Board of Selectmen's uh, proposed recommendation. Of course not. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but can I just ask how this is going to work? Are we going to make motions on each thing, or is this just at the very end we make a motion on the whole thing? For each budget, if we want to change something in the town side, yeah. then we will make a motion on each. Town and education side. Unless you don't want to change something, you just keep rolling. No, we just keep rolling. rolling. That's right. And then Board of Ed is just the final amount. So, which one? This one here. Yeah, it's the new. This, this reflects the, the reduction. Thirty-two, four, thirty-one, zero, nine, eight. Um, Board of Selectmen request. Is that forty-eight? No, we're just we're just the board. That's the total. The board of Ed. Thirty-one, three, nine, three. Yes. 32, yes. 4, 31, yes. 9, so, so the Oh, including cap and the cap. Yeah. Oh, with the cap. Correct. So that's, that's the reduction. Right. Yeah, that's the, that's what's to us right now. 
So they're here, waiting for comments or questions. Who's here? Quarterback. Uh, my first question is, uh, I understand it was what, roughly 212000 that the Board of Selectmen cut. Have they figured out yet where they're making those cuts? That's up to the superintendent. That's what I'm saying. Is it out of the capital of the superintendent or is it out of the, the operational? Based on what ends up happening tonight, we'll, we'll, make, we'll finalize that. But based on the recommendations, we looked at um, the 103 out of capital. And uh, although the recommendations or the suggestions from the um, Board of Selectmen were not areas that I thought made the most sense, we certainly have figured out that between furniture, levered hardware, and technology that we could we could purchase those things currently with the expectation that there is some anticipated surplus in the operations budget for 13 14. So you made, so you made no determination. So yet. levered hardware, yeah. furniture, and technology. That, that would be where 103 of that would come from. The recommendations for uh, textbooks, the 109,000, would be tech, would ultimately would come from textbooks and instruction materials out of the right. So roughly 109 from capital, 103 from capital. That was the that was that initial suggestion. And Mr. Superintendent, we got an email from you today saying that you, with rough estimate, 500 to 30, 500 to 88,000 um, 588,000 in uh, surplus this year. In, in anticipated yeah. projected surplus. Uh, and also, in our, my discussion with you about the um, tuition transportation costs for the special ed students, um, you didn't include any cost savings in that those changes to that list? Well, I, again, uh, um, I shared uh, the response to all, I think I took the uh, scripture. Um, but the, the essence is that there are no savings in the 14-15 budget. The, the, the number of students that are projected for in that sheet on the 13th for 14-15 are the, are the students that we will have and are responsible for for 14-15. There are, the question you raised was with regard to those students who would turn 21 within the 12 month period. My response and clarification was that four of those students will, will turn 21 after the federal deadline of July 1 and therefore will be carried into the 15-16 budget year as well. But will they, if they'll be off our rolls, will we be paying for them? Like that's kind of a student, no, they, they will be, we will be paying for them, they're on our rolls. Students in, under uh, federal IDEA, students who turn 21 after or prior to July 1 yes. in, the, in the school year, become, they have, they have aged out at that point. If they turn 21 after July 1, you carry them for the whole year. then we have to carry them through the school year. That is the federal All the costs. That is correct. Now, I, I wasn't clear to me in that letter, I'm sorry. Okay, that's why, that's why we're here to answer it. So four of those students um, would be carried through. Four would be aged out at the end of 14-15, at the end of next year. Um, probably, you know, again, notwithstanding any other students who might come in, and I indicated that there are at least two students right now that potentially could be uh, placed out of district. but. If it were those, if those, we didn't have any additional students in out of district placements, it's about three, a little over three hundred thousand dollars. For that would be for anticipated for right. fifteen, sixteen. I, I just it's kind of puzzling me why there were eight, eight students all born within twelve months. And it, it just doesn't fit. You know, it's just a neutral, it's an unusual situation. For me. Yes, sir. I'm new to this process here. I have to bear with me. It's quite all right. Um, and I can't find anything on the town records relative to some prior budgetary meetings that you've had. You know, the minutes of some of those meetings are not on the town website yet. Is, is this thing you just put there yet? They are not the majority of the um, It used to be updated big time. Okay. Uh, I checked, and I am not aware that 
at this stage because I don't see it, that the Board of Education actually made a motion for to approve for you the business manager position. I am aware, according to Phil Williams, who sent me an email, that the budget you submitted uh, was in fact approved by the board. Mm -hmm. I don't have the date on that. But I just wondered, you know, as we go through this process, what was the actual position for business manager approved by your board? Or the, it was approved as part of the uh, budget process. Uh, we have always had a, a, prior to the most recent discussion, um, a split position, half time, half of that, per, half of the finance business manager was in fact the board of ed's responsibility. So really, the, the change is not a, a new position; <coughs> it is an, an extension of a position that already exists. Uh, uh, that came out of a discussion with members of the board of finance, members of the board of selectmen, and members of the board of ed, in a discussion about after the third round of discussions with or hiring a uh, finance director or business manager, how do we proceed? And there was a recommendation or an agreement at that point that it made sense that we needed to have two people, uh, one for the town and one for the board. Of so we proceeded with that, building that into the budget, which was presented to the board as part of the budget presentation and approved accordingly for the additional 50%. I don't think there's any argument that there should be two people. I think the question is full time or not. Right. Bloom Shapiro's, uh, one of their, their issue, big issues is journal entry. It's a key worry for them. And having more people with a new fund in, in the process, I think, creates more confusion than it does clarity. But, I mean, that, okay. and that was their recommendation. To centralize. Central. Yes. <coughs> Think, and you know that I, I wasn't present for their recommendation, so didn't have a chance to discuss that with them in terms of how they came to that recommendation. I would argue that, um, that while we have been back and forth with the discussion now for the last four years, as we've hired different people to take on that role. One of the things that we did find is that um, having you know a single person, um, there's there's a lot of moving parts that um, ultimately, in some cases, and we found with you know, hiring a fresh set of eyes, even that um, some grant monies that were available, um, we went back and were able to um, to capture, which I, which was a, a, a big savings ultimately for the town. I think there's, you know, there, the, the budgets have grown to a point and the complexities of the budgets have grown to a point where, at least in previous discussions, um, we had some agreement that there re realistically was a need for uh, a, a, a full-time business manager. And it's one of those issues that, regardless of how we approach it, um, for purposes of the Board of Ed, it is a certified position. So it's not just a, you know, a, 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 an accountant. That can come in and look at it. It is a very, it is a more specialized position than uh, strictly a, a finance person or a, or an accountant. One might person. question the timing, considering that we are consolidating in a brand, brand new office space all of the financial um, offices and um, implementing a brand new accounting system, which is supposed to was unbelievably it was three hundred thousand, two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars, which the Board of Ed did not have to pay for. But will be able to benefit from it. Ultimately, um, I think most of that money whether, came from our surplus whether, from two years ago. Whether you, whether the at this moment is wise or not, or to just, you know, kind of see how, how those, uh, that all plays out, how, how beneficial it is. Um, it's, it was, it's, you know, before you put any body in a slot, that's... Well, we're without any bodies right now. So are we. I, I agree. No, you, no, you. Oh, we got you. We're here. <laughs> I'm on the phone with Jack today, talking about, you know, we're trying to figure out. But it, it, regardless of what you want to do with it, it's a full-time position. Uh, whether it's the 110, 120,000 position, it's a full-time position. And, and to work in that role, you have to have the, the certification. What that bears as far as financially, I don't know. But somebody has to have that. 
you have to have it by state statute. Um, the, the previous finance directors that we brought in after Rosemary either had it or had to get it within a certain amount of time. You know? The certification? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is apparently not a big deal, but yeah. there is a financial consequence that, that, that comes with that certification. And, and both Regarding the rest of the staff, right. that's a subject of discussion later on, whether we're going here, we're going there. Is yeah. We have to, there's somebody's got to be full-time at the board. Both previous finance directors expressed strongly throughout their tenure here of centralizing and consolidating. And both left. <laughs> yes, both left. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Someone's applying for a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For just one more. Well, I agree that there needs to be two people, um, and I think that there is, you know, work to still be done to figure out how that plays out, but the budget is the budget at this point, and I don't think it would make a significant difference regardless of how it plays out in the budget. Um, I think I'm interested in, I think that an education budget that is this much of a percentage of, of what the town spends its money on rightly deserves and has a lot of people working on it. And um, from, you know, starting months before we even see it. So I'm sort of interested in respecting what they originally put forward, as well as still sort of interested in hearing maybe the reasons why the Board of Selectmen re decided to reduce it. All right. Projected, I projected 41, and it's projected. It's, and, it, and it's, you don't know, 100% this and that. Could surplus. be more, could be less for surplus. Uh, Jack did a good job. He came 535 to 585. It could go down, it could go up. So it was a conservative, and we did it last year because we were in the 8 900, you know, the, the retirement train is running out. We've had a lot in the last couple of years, and that's the majority of the surplus. So it's surplus. It's sur it was because it was you know, the unanticipated retirements drive that drive that number, and, and, and okay. it's unfortunate. You don't. There's no way to incentivize people reasonably to so, to, to let you know ahead of time. So okay. So that being said, there was a couple things that were presented with. Number one, we did get. The Board of Finance is required mm -hmm. to factor in surplus um, when they're setting the budget. And we got that today. Mm -hmm. We got a projected mm -hmm. surplus. And so I went. We got Jack's Friday and we got right. yours. A couple of weeks yeah. yeah. and, and then the reason then that the Board of Selectmen decided to reduce what they, what the Board of Ed requested, was because they could let, they assumed or there were discussions that they could use a portion of the surplus to buy some of the capital that is being invested. Offset it this year offset. versus rolling it into next year, which is what we did with capital right. last so, year to the tune of 300 and change. Uh, and, so it, and again, on the, and I was looking at 480, 212 out of 480 is a very conservative number, not knowing it could go up or down. And you could have a hit all of a sudden at the end of the year, you don't anticipate that, that you know, you don't want to use it all up. And it's got to be, it's got to be taken care of by June 30th. Or else that money rolls back to the town. So, so yes, and so looking at the surplus numbers, I think I there was maybe I think I calculated like seventy percent of where the surplus is being realized are actually in line items that have been reduced in the board of ed budget that was presented mm -hmm. to us together. So. So sometimes we hear that there's continued surpluses and nobody's doing anything about it. And I would like to <coughs> say that that's not accurate. You know, there's, there's five line items where there are surpluses and all those five items have been reduced in the budget that we're looking at. You know, public utilities, um, the budget that we were looking at has been reduced by 13%. Um, heating and fuel, it realized a surplus this year, so it was reduced by 11%. Health insurance over the years, all of this year was flat. Right. right. We, so, we talked today, yeah. we should be getting a pat on the back because over what we've done in the last few years with our health insurance, our utilities, our heat, 
We should be getting a pat on the back okay. for saving the town money because we okay. reduced it significantly. And but okay. we still get the now, So where I'm headed with this is yes, budgeting is an art, not a science. So to come in less than one percent, it's going to happen, and you all know that. I say every time it's better than a deficit. Mm -hmm. Um, the way that the Board of Finance does use surplus in the budget that is presented to the town is a revenue line item called appropriated surplus. And right now, or in the past, that's been last year it was two hundred thousand, it was two fifty. No, it was two fifty and we reduced the no. we reduced the hundred fifty. So the board two fifty two hundred. Two hundred down to two hundred now. It's two hundred right now. Right. No? No, we're dropped it by 100. Then we take contingency down to yeah. $100,000. We dropped it by 100. We took contingency by, by 50. And then we took less revenue well, it by 50. It started at a couple of years ago. Right, right. now, it's uh, where it is. What? So this is to the board. Because I'm suggesting a fundamental change in, in how we handle this, regardless of what it is or what it was. What I believe should be happening is that we get a book. We get a budget, you know, because we did this last year. We said you're going to have surplus. Take your surplus and use it for capital that you're requesting to reduce the capital. Well, really, it's bad for historical reporting. It's bad because it doesn't present to the taxpayers exactly what you want for that year. So my fundamental suggestion here is to restore the Board of Education's budget to what the Board of Ed and the principals and the superintendent and the associate assistant superintendent worked so hard in developing and present that to the taxpayers for a vote. We don't know. We, we're in an era where a 0% doesn't pass. We, don't, we can't sit here and say it's not going to pass. And you know, once 0% doesn't pass, to me, all bets are off the table. It just the People are just going to vote no no matter what it is. If they're voting no at 0%, they're going to vote no, no matter what it is. But since we're presented with a potential $500,000 surplus, let's consider upping that appropriate surplus. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to say, OK, the Board of Ed needs this much in capital. Instead of saying, well, take your surplus and buy it now. Let's say, put it out there. This is what they need. This is, respect that. This is what they told us they need. But yet, they're going to probably realize half a million dollars. That's a lot. They might, they might not. Let's take the appropriated surplus and make it $300,000 or $400,000 because that's how the Board of Ed is supposed to factor in a surplus into next year's budget because then you're not, you're not taxing the taxpayers for that amount, but you're presenting a, a budget that is what they need. I don't know if anybody follows me. I almost feel like I need a whiteboard. I understand board. what you're saying. You're, you're saying take the increase, bump the, bump the appropriate surplus, which is 150 right now. Right. You have to bump it by 200 grand round numbers. Right. Actually, 212, you know, bring it to 362. But well, we've never used the, the 150 is, yet. We never touched the 250 when right. it was in there. We never the idea the is to really never touch it. The idea was the appropriate it, surplus, because no, once you touch it, you got to get rid of it. Here's what I, here's, here's, no, here's what's really, what I, again, I'm, I'm suggesting a fundamental shift here. What should happen is, on June 30th, you come in with an undesignated fund, your favorite thing, Dennis. Well, right off the bat, because we know that if you think about a revenue line item, <coughs> if you up that appropriated surplus, then you're reducing the tax levy. Okay? You're reducing the tax levy. Give them their budget. Up the appropriate surplus. So you're reducing what the taxpayers are taxed on. But right off the bat, on July 1st, you have an undesignated fund. You should, sub you should subtract by 400. You should, you should subtract that appropriated surplus right away so that we don't spend it that It's year. already done, though. When you appropriate undesignated funds, as we've been doing. No, no, no. It's not on the audit. It, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it is. Oh, oh it yeah. Is. And okay. we go for our operating statements. We're buying this and that. They say, do you appropriate surplus okay. Then it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it, it, it's, it's, it's signed out. And it was been 250 for quite a few years. Back in 2008, when the economy went down the tubes, we dropped our tax collection rate from 99.29 to 98.5. And we and we actually, it was the first time we ever put money in from undesignated into the, into the revenue side, which was 250. Now, last couple of years, the Board of Finance has dropped it. And our contingency went down from 200 to 100, and the surplus undesignated appropriated to the revenue stream went down to 150. 
okay? So it's semantics. Now, if we can guarantee that all half a million dollars because nothing's going to happen the rest of the year is going to come back to the town and to the undesignated fund balance, maybe it happens. First time you touch it, and, and, our, and, our, and, and listen, you know, say what you want. Our surpluses are getting lower and lower and lower, whether it's the Board of Ed or a town side. Oh, yeah. Tax collection rate is, is, is 98.8 for a reason. It's not going up because she's just making that number. On $39 million in tax collection, when you're only having 70000 above, you know, and that includes interest, that's, that's tight. That's tight. So you, you got to be careful. A lot of towns love to do it. He, uh, West Haven's going bankrupt. A lot of towns around us are broke because they keep putting surplus money towards that budget. You'd be better off if you can do it as a capital with the with that surplus money than it is to put it towards the revenue stream. So our, and it really, and it, it, it's, it's a shell game, but it's artificially lowering taxes. So. I just think it's artificial. It is an artificial lowering of taxes. Because the next year when you don't have it, all of a sudden you have a bump. If you have 200000 in your in your budget as a revenue stream from a designated fund balance, and next year you don't have a surplus sufficient enough to appropriate that money again, you're down to 200 already, and now you're going to make it up right off the bat without another increase. But what, what we're saying here, That's like though, the state of Connecticut, that pulling money out of rainy day fund, which they don't have anymore. But we're, what we're saying here, mm -hmm. by the circle, is that we're going to end the year with $500,000 in the mm -hmm. bank. Yeah. Pay me now or pay me later. I'd rather pay now to do capital items, which you can do. It's not cutting anything. Remember that. Right. We're not saying cutting anything. Use the money that you, you potentially will have, and you, you probably will, to do things now instead of doing it later, okay? Versus putting it in. Again, our taxpayers have already paid this money that's in that two plus million dollars that we have above what we need to keep in our surplus. They've already paid for that. No, but as we know, the only way to spend the surplus and I updated that, so you gotta check it no, out. On the Board of Ed side, it's, <laughs> you know, as well as well, that July July sure all the things funds that have been encumbered for the Board of Ed encumbered. It's not like they write a check and send it back to us and then deposit it. Okay. It just becomes unencumbered. You know, we, we've tried over the years to try to reduce that appropriated surplus number because we are concerned that as we go forward, the surpluses that we've had are going to dwindle, especially in light of the fact that we're borrowing more over the next two or three years. And it's not a bad idea. It's just good. No, it's, uh, no, it's, it's getting to the same place in a different way, which is, yeah. Right. Well, I can't yeah. Just I, I, just, I, feel like, I feel like we're in a mode where we're playing this game every year. And, it's, and you almost get to um, come back around to the beginning of, you know, but, but it's... I mean, I think, I think the stronger argument for putting the money back in from the Board of Ed's pro proposed budget is that the budget's been vetted by people who are elected to do that on the Board of Ed's side. We shouldn't be substituting our um, personal knowledge and thoughts for um, the work that they do and the presentations that were made uh, for each of the cost centers and to the superintendent. So, you know, I mean, it, it, that's a little different than the town side, you know, where we do look at every budget and every line item. But on the Board of Ed side, they looked at all of those different requests for each line item. For us, we're just appropriating or requesting an appropriation from the town meeting of $32 million. They've already vetted the Board of Ed where that $32 million is going to be spent. We have no control to it goes. So that's my only problem is I just don't, I don't know if the high school needs another guidance counselor. I'm depending upon the elected members of the Board of Ed and their administrators to tell us that. Do I trust the number? Do I blindly trust it? There's no question in my mind. I trust the number. <coughs> is there a way to offset? Don't offend right. me. Is, the last is, is there a way to offset? It's not, it's not crazy service. I, I don't think so either. No. Not on $32 million. That's right. just, that's my personal view, mm -hmm. and that's why I support the budget. And, and I'd and rather have that than a deficit. Yeah. You, you don't want to run a deficit. something to me about Westport. As soon as you run a deficit, your bond rating goes, <laughs> Right. And we are worried about yeah, borrowing. Yeah, we're, we're building a school. We're borrowing money. We have a double A2, and that's good for a car on our size, whatever it is. Yeah. Bruce, so I just want to make one, one comment here. Uh, in terms of hiring other employees as just the subject, okay, I think there are a number of people in town that feel, 
in all honesty, that, like in business, the superintendent needs to think a little more about redeploying you know, the resources that he has in terms of talent, technology, systems, just like they do in any other business. Give folks more responsibility, whether they're teachers, um, a number of whom could be moved up to leadership positions, administrative staff who could take on more technology and budgeting tasks. Um, some of those folks may have skills that we're not even aware of. But I just want to make sure you're not, you know, you're considering all those pieces as you put your final numbers together. Comment? Uh, only that over the course of the last five years, so that's exactly what we've been doing. We, we reduced the uh, 10 staff members four, three, four years ago. Um, we reorganized various departments as we've gone through. When we have, anytime we have a retirement, we analyze that in terms of do we absolutely need to replace that person or would there be a better way to um, utilize those resources in another way. So, um, you know, I, while I appreciate your comments, in fact, um, part of the process from starting in October all the way till now indicate, you know, our building administrators are doing very, that very thing. Those are the kinds of questions that I ask. Those are the kinds of questions that the board asks of me as we go through the process. I think actually part of this budget includes a stipend for putting new uh, teachers in leadership positions at Elliott, right? I mean, they're not going to do that for free, but um, they are making some of the Elliott from teachers, team leaders. That's to try to hire building personnel to have licenses and professional trades to reduce costs for the school. Yeah, I just have one. I'm just wondering if there's any way possible that the Board of Education could absorb three quarters of the cost of the SRO officer. Absorb in what way? Just take it out of your budget rather than the police budget on the town side. So, with, with the existing dollars or with. Yeah, are, are you at, do, we, do you want? Are you asking whether or not? Well, I, okay, I'll, I'll ask the question: Why wasn't it in in the first place? Because the public safety position, hired by the police department, funded by the all of the gear and and all of the training. That's that's not my area of expertise. Um, it is a public safety position. Now, in but the end, three quarters of the time at your school, nine uh, months. In the whatever, in the months. end, if you know, the, the design on that is uh, for the, those dollars to be um, uh, appropriated in, in the Board of Ed budget so that it shows up in our budget. I, I don't really have an issue with it one way or the other. In, in the end, it's a public safety issue that um, and, and the Chief and I have had several conversations about, you know, in the idea more to the point is um, going to be if it's in my budget, then they are they're going to be you know more you know, restrictive on some level because right now there's the flexibility that the, that the if the chief needs the SRO on any given day to do something because he's short-handed, then that's what happens. Uh, I think you know the, the funding stream doesn't make any difference whether it's police or uh, or board of ed. Ultimately, it's a, a collaborative relationship that we've developed. You want to put whatever the, the fifty or sixty thousand dollars in my budget. And we added in. 60. I wasn't thinking of putting it in. I was thinking of the old ass over 64 grand. Well, that's why I was asking that's, the question. Right? And that's all I would say that 66.7% on a full, full budget. I mean, absorbing just a little bit more with the 500. If your budgets are coming in at 550000 or 500000 if we added that position to your side, it's, I guess, what did you say, Willie, 70000 64. 64. That's, that's salary, benefits, pension, social security wages. For, that would just for mean that months? roughly that three, no, that's the, the nine months. Nine nine months. months. For nine months. Because the other, the months during the summer. Oh, really, it's, it's, it's really ten, ten months. Because ten months, yeah. There, there are they love three months off. Yeah. 
there are, you know, security and, and the safety issues already that the school board is paying for in the cameras and locking systems and all of, the, all of that stuff. So I do see the crossover that I, it's not like the police is going share a lot of from, from the health and safety. So what are you saying? Are you for it or against it? No, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. The but the flexibility is the chief, if he needs the, the person, um, calls. Or something, calls and they go. That's it. You put, if you're going to put in the board of ed budget, that person is at the school every day, all day, for 10 minutes, unless all hell is breaking up. The chief's not going to be able to call them out. Let, let and me, I agree with that. Let me, let me. It doesn't work for the chief at that point. We're supposed to superintend the schools. And then, the then let me chief ask that question of the chief. Well, Chief, how many times have you pulled that officer during the course of the year, and is it worth it to you? I would say this, Dennis, that the, um, right now that my staffing issues with the injuries that I have, uh, there are times, especially particularly Monday mornings, I think Jack, Jack is well aware, that, and we talk about it. I mean, bottom line is I don't have anybody to take prisoners to court. I have two people in the cell, and they got to go to court. Uh, the SRO will assist, and then... It takes about an hour, and he's back, and he goes, and he goes up to the school. So um, it's not as rigid as, you know, I, I don't see it as being a bigger problem as maybe some, but, I, you know, if he comes out, I mean, other than that, there are times when, um, you know. Well, I'm just asking goes, you, frankly, kid. It, it goes the other way, way with, as the superintendent is saying that that man says for the eight or nine or ten months of school's in session, are you willing to... I'm just saying I think the reality is is that Todd and I have had a very good working relationship. I, I we can work it out. I, I know everybody so, in this room has a good so, working relationship. I'm trying to yeah. work something out so that if in fact I'm trying to play Solomon, so that if in fact we took the money out of the town side and put it on your side, that possibly I could reinstate some money so he could get his other police officer hired July first without increasing the burden on the taxpayer. I'm trying to work something out so that the town benefits, you benefit, he benefits, and the taxpayers benefit. Because beyond what anybody else thinks, we have a responsibility to the taxpayers to keep that budget as low as possible, but provide the best of our services. So I'm just looking to see if that could be done. If he says no, he can't work under that constriction, question's over. I'm not saying I wouldn't no. even ask you again. I'm not saying no, Dennis. I'm just saying I think we work out the times that I use that officer, honestly. Because there are the times, let's just say in the summertime, when he goes up to the school and does stuff on my time. You know, we don't hold that. We have a very fluid, fluid, flexible, fluid, flexible, fluid, fluid relationship. And I, and I don't think that even... So you I, don't want to risk that fluid? No, I, I have no problem with... Uh, I understand what you're saying, and I... We, we would be able to work it out, I could tell you, Jack, that's all. I mean, uh, either way. The whole rigid thing about he's definitely up there. Either way, you would work it out. Of course. Okay. With the that's benefit, nice, Jack. With the benefit of new hires, would that soften your burden? Yes. But then, so if you're implying that there's fluff in the board of ed to absorb it, see, so from our perspective, from a whole taxpayer perspective, Valerie, down when you have a $550,000 sur surplus, not one year, but about four years in a row, yeah. But I, just, I would take a chance at a $70,000 gamble. I don't think that $70,000 is going to put them into a deficit next year. But I just That's pointed out that opinion. there's lots of places. I know, you're going to lay that budget. trip so on there's me. All, they're already at risk, at risk of not having a surplus <laughs> next year because they t with the areas that were producing surpluses, they reduced by over, in double digits have been reduced. So... And, 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 and I honor your opinion, Valerie, really. But you know something? We've heard this for four years in a row. Every year you hear, well, we know we made a lot of cuts, and I don't know if I can do that again next year. Which is true. They don't know. But somehow, it just so happens that every year they do a better and better job, and we end up five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars or more as a surplus. So I'm saying, I'm just trying to work something out for this town. I'll take a gamble by shifting $70,000 from this side, put it on that side. If it doesn't work next year, take it right back. Would you, would you do that by um, reinstating their original request minus the $60,000? I'd have to think about that for a couple minutes. That's it. That's, you know, I just, and then let me we'll take that. I don't know what to think about. Or, or you even make it stronger in the other cap. Like this, you can do a cap it. You know, they have a cap it. 
Yes, we do. And I think we just reviewed that Thursday night, and we saw that their capital budget has been stripped quite a bit. I don't know where you can strip their capital. I don't know where we can strip the police capital budget any any further. I'd say they came in at five hundred thousand. We're not going to defray one hundred and three, so we're going to that's twenty percent of Jackie's surplus. Three hundred seven. I think it's important to say that all of the other line items in the police budget, by the way, have not increased for the 2014 We're talking about more of that. More of that. We're just talking about Tangentially, then. Yeah. Also, I think they're, they're not asking for that much money. Who? The police? Although, although I make that suggestion, you know, to that. We can't really tell you where the cuts need to be. That's right. So that's the trick. That's right. I take all suggestions. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, does somebody want to hear any comments for you, Leon? No? Does anybody want to make a motion? Val? Um, I would. I would make the motion to. Uh, to respect the board that, and again, the administrators and the teachers put forward and, and put forward to the taxpayers the original budget of the request, which was, which was, wow, well, total, the total board of that 32,643,215. Right. Say the number again. Two million six four three two one five. That's the total that includes debt redemption and capital. All right, there's a motion to approve the board of ed. Proposed 1415 budget for two million six hundred forty three thousand two hundred fifteen dollars. Second, second. 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 Favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. 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 Extensions. All right. Three. Three. Motion does not carry. All right. Your turn, Dennis. Motion. Or Rona. Or Bruce. I don't know what kind of motion I can make because it's a dollar. I heard so. You're gonna make a dollar amount motion. Yep. <coughs> That's why she gave out all new sheets today. Yep. I thought that was the new sheet. 
Don't put them in your books. You just got this full stack set. Right there. That's where you get a fresh pack when it's getting it confused. No, I knew what I did. I, I went 32 and then I went down to this number. There's too, too many sheets tonight. It was 32, 4, 3, 3, 1, 0, 9, 8. I got it. All right. Thank you. And then we do it to your size. It's 3.2. 3.2% increase instead of 3.6%. Just doing the board of debt. It's capital and debt is included though. It's 30, 2, 431, 098. And if you want to know percentages, well, I'll just figure it out. 32, 
Yeah, the 20, 250 was 2500 We fixed it. Don't worry. We went through. Yeah, I don't see it on the new sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, the sheets are out. 67712 for inland wetlands. Where's the salary? No problems there. Zoning Board of Appeals, 2800 bucks. Postage, microphone. Administrative costs, any changes? Mr. Question, we yes. never heard from them at all during the process? We don't have them. I'm a zoning officer in my office. Okay, that's yeah. tough. It's amazing. Okay, so I got it. Okay. Planning and zoning, $122,762. Any changes? Comments? Any changes? This is the one that went up. It went up $10,000. $10,000. A little over. 75% of these? No, that was only a one of seventy five percent. Wassing. Wassing. One of ten thousand dollars, roughly eleven. Seventy eight nine oh three. Most of it was in repairs and maintenance and that's because it explains down below <coughs> the drains, you know, clean the drains, so you know the new roof and everything. And you got the auditorium floor, which they just did, give us the proper maintenance and marble potter wash. It's all explained. Okay, Fire department budget is three hundred twenty thousand. Request any changes to this budget? No. Fire marshal is requesting forty-eight thousand. Any changes? No. You're what? You're. Yes. So, we're all board is selected right now. This is Jake. Forty-eight thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not what you're requesting. No. Board of Finance. Do you want to change something? No, no, no. Okay. So four thousand five hundred dollars difference. Yeah. I am reading from the board sec select and recommend it, even though it's shaded over here. Yeah, Mary put the numbers as of now in that shade of sound. Right. That way, if we got to change, it's right here. Changes when it's only one or two. Right. We're we're. We're getting more. We got on the other side. <laughs> Communications. Five hundred fifty-four thousand eight hundred seventy-three dollars in request. Any questions? Any problems with this one? You have a comment about the police. Yes, I do. All right. I'd like to make a motion. <clears throat> to restore the original request for $64,000 for the fiscal year 2014 to 2015 for the police budget for salaries, restoring the funding for the major position and the new hire patrolman. Um, so that would be restoring the line item of $32,000 for the new patrolman and another $32,000 in salary line item for the major position. Um, this is the only request over and above the other line items in their budget, which, by the way, they have not increased for the new fiscal year, whereas we know that other budgets are substantially higher than that. This very professional unit is now below the command and control structure followed by the last, for the last 12 years. They have less people. This uh, structure was set up a long time ago. 2004, we spent as a town $44,000 and we recommended a certain structure which had we have fallen below. And as such, we could, we could, I repeat, open up the town to liability issues due to the fatigue of the patrolmen, the corporals, the overtime needs of this town. And uh, I just think that. Uh, they should be able to have this money back in their budget so that um, you know, they're fully restored to the structure that they should be at. They, the police were, were pushing $200,000 worth of budget. So you're suggesting putting that $160,000? $64,000 in salaries. It's, it's just under two. Is 
there a second? You specifically made a motion um, to uh, restore thirty-five thousand dollars for the major. No, sixty-four. Six, sixty-four. Yeah, sixty-four for both. Yeah. Okay, so thirty-four for the major, thirty-four for the officer. Okay, the major for the officer. Now the thirty-four for the officer, I believe, is what we just approved. A continuance of what we just approved at the beginning of the meeting, is that correct? No. no. I, I let uh, Chief Lowry get to the board. What was the What we approved at the beginning of this meeting was just $100,000 to hire the new officer. Oh, to yeah. replace one of our guys. Okay. okay. That was just so, high, those are hiring costs that had nothing to do with that uh, budget okay. request, of course. That's just not hiring costs. So, this, this is for additional staff okay. beyond the 25. Okay. Right. We got a motion. Is there a second on the motion? The motion is to add ninety-eight thousand dollars. No. Sixty-four thousand. Sixty-eight. It's a thirty-four and thirty-four. Oh, it's thirty-two. Thirty-two and thirty-two. Thirty-two and thirty-two. So, in its simplicity, the motion is to add thirty-six. Sixty-four thousand, which would allow for the hiring of an additional. Select the recommendation. So, on top of the board is like for salary. Salary. Can we have a discussion? Or? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm trying to get a second. All right, I'll second it so we can discuss that. All right. Okay. Um, we could have, I'm not sure what we, where we get by approving a specific position of the major position. We could have that in mind and just increase the salary line for a second position. And you know, when we're you know not so rushed. I mean, obviously we need to increase the personnel in the police department. And I increase, bring it back up to the level that it should be at now. We are below. I understood that, Bruce, but it's a question of who, what the level is, and you can have you know two officers um, or. Um, you know, basically two patrolmen or uh, one major and one patrolman. And my point is that it might, I would rather see a motion made that was a little bit more flexible as to what that position is. So, um, you know, I agree with you 100% that it is that we're in the staff. It's just a question of how we do it and when we do it. Um, right now, we're going through every budget in the whole town. It might be more prudent if we had more time to sort of discuss. We do not. I'm not saying it's anything it's about time. You misunderstanding me. Well, I'd like to defer to the police department. To your question. <laughs> yeah. The money is the same. We want to get it right. It's about time. Can you, Mr. Chairman? Okay. Yes, I think there's a misconception here. Uh, we definitely need an extra patrol. <coughs> I think we've demonstrated that in space, $250,000 in overtime, five people down right now, five Understood. people that could retire, I and mean, one is like not even Jack's a better moment. So the one officer, I think, without question, uh, we would need. We, we asked for more, we didn't get it, we understand. But, but the one, absolutely got to start to First. The major thing is uh, that's another issue. We're not asking to add anybody. For 12 years, we had a chief and two majors. And all we're asking is we maintain it. We had a professional study that recommended that structure. Uh, when that structure went into effect, we had four commanders, four administrators, and it took us down to three. And this has been, you know, this has been our structure. And we happen to have one of them retire. And uh, we've agreed to delay the promotion of anybody uh, to that rank so we can keep them in the union for now. But we're just simply asking that we have the flexibility to continue that structure. So we're not asking, you know, we're not asking to uh, add anybody. We're just asking that the existing position be funded. That's all. Didn't you initially request three new officers? Yes. Yeah, okay. but that's gone. And, um, and at that time, we didn't know a major was going to retire so soon. 
That was three officers uh, bargaining unit positions. Two patrolmen and a detective, basically, is where they would go. So, uh, I think I can answer your question also. If you're talking about kind of more time, the, the Board of Police Commissioners is charged by statute with staffing and stuff like that, and structure of the police department. Sure. I guess what we're asking for is just restore the funding so, and then leave it up to the board of districts. We understand the town's position. They want us to look at that uh, command structure, and that's and we agree to do that. Okay. So, so what you're, you're agreeing with my uh, comment that we could put that money in the budget without specifying exactly who it's going to Here's the thing. The funding wasn't reduced. The funding is there for, for 25 sworn people. It was not reduced. The funding is there for three administrators and then 22 members of the unit. what I understand, we don't This is about them. adding another one beyond that. We don't go to have 26. an effective number. Yes, it is, Mr. Farmer. The, the suggestion was made by... We have 24 now. We have 25. We have 24. We have funding in here for 25. Right, right here. There's funding for 25 currently. You have to We're at 24 because listen, listen, if you want to listen to the smoke and mirrors, that's fine. I know the facts. I live it. Okay? Here's the thing. Other towns have gone to a different structure. Seymour just reduced from three to two with a bigger staff. You can't Cheshire's paper. Listen, listen. Seymour's bigger than us. Cheshire just went down with administrative. They had two one administrator for every two patrol. Okay? We're at 1.8. One for every 1.8. If you want to add the corporals in, we're at one administrator for every .92 in patrol. Let me which just say that. But bottom line, forget that. We didn't suggest that eliminating <coughs> the major's position. We are not we, top hat. We, please, top please. Hat. You don't know as much as you think you do. First of all, we are at a position where we're complaining about the guys working overtime. There's a guy back there that goes 16 hours every day, walks out the door. We're talking about moving a guy out of that rotation making a bad situation worse, okay? Hiring a guy now, proving this in his budget, that maybe get voted on in May and get approved, is not going to get you anybody right now, get you anybody on the street. Reducing the staff in, the, in that patrol division, or in that rotation, is going to make a bad situation worse. My suggestion was to hold off. Wait until you get the guy out of the academy, okay? And then when that guy comes out, then you promote the major, you've saved 30 plus thousand dollars, in that major's position, administrative position, okay, which you roll to the bottom, now you got money to hire a guy, another guy, to get to 26 without increasing this budget. So you're, so you're going to make a bad situation worse by hiring a guy, by bringing a guy up, reducing your rotation, put more impact on the overtime, just so you can promote a guy. That's your Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thanks, so Mr. Just if you don't mind. First of all, I take offense, sir, to the smoke and mirrors comment. That was uncalled for. Well, Joe Fawney used to do it. That was well, I'm just trying to tell you that. There's no smoke and mirrors here. I can make numbers seem like anything I want to. I'm just trying to say this. Is that, you know, I understand Willie's uh, concept about putting off. I think that the Board of Police Commissioners agreed to say, listen, we try and put off as long as we can. Um, it's not as easy as just saying, don't hire another major and, and, and figure out what's going to go on with that half of the, the building. Um, at the end of the day, I appreciate your comments that we do need more manpower. And I guess we are saying, so Willie's agreeing that we do need more people. It's just how to get there. Would you agree to that, sir? Yeah. So we need more people. I'm trying to figure out a way to creatively get you there without making a bad situation worse than the meantime. Well, wasn't this I think we all are. What, what yeah. gas is trying to I mean, how, how are we making a bad situation? Because, because you're, taking, you're going to take a guy that can work overtime, this and that, and take him out of there by I, promoting I just said we're not going to promote anybody. Until when? And you know that. Until when, Phil? We don't know when. But you're saying that. We don't you, know you, you got to wait till the guy's out of the academy, which is September. You want a date, sir? September? We can't give you a date, sir. Well, I'm that, saying that's, September. That's well, what but, I thought the plan was, right. to, to, to not Hold do it until we get the guy out of the academy. In the fall. Right. But the thing is, we like the SRO comes out in uh, the end of June. I mean, that's, you know, why am I waiting until, uh, you, you know. The, but then you don't have the extra money in your budget to hire somebody because you didn't hold off. To hire somebody next year. You're agreeing yeah. to need somebody. It's just how to get there. How to get I mean, the thirty-one thousand in my budget doesn't allow me to hire somebody in July. Before. And it's not like October. it does if you don't promote corporal to make it to sergeant, mm -hmm. etc. Patrolman and corporal. We're just talking There's about There's another eight to ten thousand savings there. Well, that won't. Right. Right. That money won't be spent. That'll bring you to forty. If we don't promote anybody to meet, but that most of the savings is going to be in this fiscal year. 
Right. Which are no savings in this fiscal year because you got a runoff right. from the major that just Most left. of the delay is well, in this fiscal year. Right. This fiscal year, you're not going to have any savings, though. Yeah, but the major that just left is going to get a $44,000 check. I guess what I'm saying, Willis, without knowing my organization, <laughs> right. without knowing my organization, you're saying right. do without the major without knowing what the impact of that is. I'm doing auto finance director, and you yes. don't know what the impact is to yeah, me on the superintendent. All right. But, I'm we not make it work. but we make it work. Here, here's what I'm saying. You're looking to hire one right now. We paid We've for study. It said do X. We did X. There's been no study since. And all of the stuff I've heard about all these other departments mm -hmm. doing less, it's basically opinion. And I looked at Seymour, and they had three in command. And with this new structure they're coming up with, they got six in command. They moved three into the unit. Sure. Yeah. And they're all going to get overtime. So you so tell me where to save They added a deputy chief. And added they, a deputy chief. They we, made a chief deputy chief, and they took the other guy we, and put him into we, the unit. Well, there's two articles on it. You can believe the one you want. Right? And we've got three. And we've got three out on injury, right? Currently, uh, three, one in the academy, and one retired. Right. So now it's, it's, we're it's five. What's five. the step? What's the, the step? moment? Five, because we've got one retired, one in the academy. Three long term that we don't know. Yes. So, I mean, that's, that's the only thing that I worry about is improving hires and Well, you're still gonna have to, those guys they're that are still, injury, they're still included in the mix. Right? Still they're, got, still, they're still in the mix. They're still in that number. I'm running that line. You still got five people that could retire. It's gonna happen. I think, I think too, you know, I find it a little bit, I find the irony here a, a little bit interesting in that we were just telling the Board of Ed when, you know, to watch what positions they hire for and you should and we always tell other agencies to do more with less. I agree that that I believe in the study, I agree that there needs to be more manpower. Um, but I think that, you know, Bruce, you should watch the irony behind this because, you know, I think you were kind of trying to pigeonhole them into the major and the patrolman when all Lori was trying to say is we agree that, you know, you should have the money but as when anybody leaves, and what the Board of Selectmen is trying to do is to think creatively about how you use that money and don't just automatically, you know, refill what you need. That's what we tell the Board of Ed all the time, and that's what we were just saying. That's what we tell the library. But, you know, I agree that you need more manpower. Right. I do. But you, just like with the Board of Ed, you take the word of the elected people. That Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not totally opposed to right. what the motion is. I, mean, I just don't like it pigeonholed either. That's what I we heard like about the Board of Ed. We've got to take the word of the professionals. Well, yes. I, I'm not saying that. Here's I don't take it. I agree. I agree. I'm not saying that I'm opposed. I just say that you need to, I don't think you should pigeonhole it to, you know, I agree that the major has a job. That the major has a job that go, that they go in every day that they have to do that can't get done without the opposition. But I just think we should, I think what the Board of Selectmen was trying to do is say, think right. creatively about just automatically doing it. Think, you know, what your stress is right now and think long But just so you don't, know, we, we talked about that at the Board of Police Commissioners about, you know, putting off for as long as you can. It's just October is eight months. That's just... Um, and I said to the, you know you guys the last thing if I go eight months why wouldn't I go I mean, a whole year I mean apparently and we don't need them we don't need them I mean I would just say all I was trying to say is when you're putting a gun to my head as far as not till October that's I, yeah that's very difficult to do there's a lot of things that go on there's a lot of balls in the air and we're just trying to keep things going and meet the needs of the town and continue to provide the services to the town that we've all enjoyed I mean that's it's very difficult to do, and like and I said, to your point, that yeah, we're statutory required to provide. It's not we, we. It's not a convenience. We have to provide certain services, so it's not. Like, you know, how, but long is, right. how long is the process to get uh, to get someone to become a major? Well, so, the way it works, it's just testing, or well, what would happen is you hire somebody at the bottom, yeah. owner, and then you would promote somebody to major from the sergeant's rank. So basically, you move somebody up, and you oh, all the way to the bottom. So. As I remember from the place or uh, the, 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 your meeting, it takes two months to do Well, it'll take testing. a couple months to, to do the test. I mean, the, the major part's not the hard part. It's promoting the sergeant, which we have one scheduled, just so we have a, not a list. Just to have a list. Just have a list to go off so that we can move quickly when the time comes. But so, 
So it's very undigestible for you to think that this process would have happened for humans. All oh, right. I mean, that, that's that's putting that's and that. Well, to Willie's point, of, listen. Nobody wants to put more stress on those guys no. than me. I mean, I don't want to. I, I, I say them all the time. Listen, I understand that, but I'm. Um, you're stealing from Peter to pay Paul here. That's really where I'm going this way. So that well, that's uh, fine. That's why I think you're stealing from Peter wow. in the wrong direction to move somebody into that ministry position. But we're not jumping to move somebody into the ministry position. We're so being we accused. Have, we have enough people. We're being accused of doing something we haven't done. We haven't rushed to promote anybody. You know, we took the suggestion. So, but we keep hearing the argument. But this thing is not going to happen. You won the so, argument. Phil, Phil. So let it go. This thing is not going to happen. Even yeah, if we approve it. Again, even uh, if, even if this the, board yeah. approves the money. We approve them. If you approve the money, it's more than 64000 Because what you got to do is you got to take the salary, which is really around fifty four. You got to add your, 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 your our contribution to the pension, which which is about 3800 bucks on a guy like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? you got you got to add your Social Security, which is another $3,000. You got to take in your workman's comp about 1500 per person, and your health insurance. You're about you're, you're talking about eighty two thousand two hundred eighty dollars by the time we're done. Okay. Per person. So yeah. then I have to go back, or we have to go back, and we got to add. So that. that's not my budget. He's correct. Doesn't matter, but they have to well, go no, no, incrementally. No. Right. That goes back into those other budgets. I got to put it back in health and life, Social Security, and I got to I got to adjust for those. I think that we're all agreed. That, I mean, I would just say that the, there's no question know. in my mind we need something. Like that. It's just how do we get there? Will somebody make a motion to the motion? Right. motion. And second. So but I mean, there's, there's no more discussion. It's for 64 about well, the motion. It's, it's not 64. And, 64. No, I mean, I'm just saying what the motion was. The motion is for $64,000. But it's, can we take that language about reinstating the nature and just make it a straight sound? Let me tell you, let me tell you exactly what it would be before we get too crazy. I, I think that's a bad idea. I think that we don't like to manage the, the departments. You know, I mean, they came in, they, they made their arguments, the selectmen have made their recommendations. So now we have to decide. You know, we want to put money back in for the person that they want. Restore the major funding, the funding for the major one. Because that's been, that's at 62,710. The patrolman was at 31,355. So the number would be the request, right? Well, yeah, I'm doing the difference. The 52642 yeah. and the 94065, and the difference between the two. Right. <coughs> Penis. It's 52,700 round number. Salary line. At 52,700 for the salary line. If you take the patrolman, three two coming in, the new guy coming in. And the new officer will start July 1st. No, you, you can't hire him until the budget passes. You can't even well, start the hiring process until well, the budget passes. Right. He won't start until July 1st. He'll, he'll get hired. Whether you get a pre, it depends whether you get a pre cert or whether you get somebody that's got to go to the academy. Goes in the academy. It's it's eight to ten months, eight ten months probably before you get him on the, the street. Next slot in the academy that I have open is I, July. I know. That. I'm just saying that. Third. July 3rd, eight months, six weeks in we the get, academy, we 10 weeks on the road, 10 weeks FTO. If you get a pre-certified, you got to do a couple weeks FTO. So would that make the selling line on 2022236 Yeah, put in there. Okay. It's about Two oh two 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 three six. Where does all these thirty twos and thirty twos and all that come from? That's on the bottom when you look, look at the list of employees. Keep going. All the way to the back to the yeah. I yeah. listed every position. Oh, you mean? Well, that's because they, they budget for the health and money and the social security tax. Yeah, those are different. Those are in general so government. Come out to that's in general government yeah. section on the budget. Yeah. Got it. Well, I just want to make sure I, I got it. Okay. So if we say yes to this motion, then they have permission to hire effectively as of the first of the new year, July 1st, to boost their complement to 26 officers, correct? And also, they can promote the promote major. the majors whenever, just as quickly as they can. And, 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 and again, you don't have any control over that either. 
Neither no, I know that. Land. I know. It's the dollar amount. They can spend half salary and line them as a whatever police commission decides. And well, what is the dollar amount that we I, just added up? Who knows? I mean, I've heard there's, there's a We've motion. We've heard so many dollar amounts. I don't know. The salary line item? There's a motion on the floor for 64000 Yeah, I was just going to ask whether or not somebody wants to revise their motion. Well, the main that makes it has to revise it. You got to keep up. We have to rescind the... All right. I want to make sure that... Make sure what? That you follow the yes. motion. No. Make sure there's no slip. So what are the amounts? Right now, the line item has changed to $222,236. $230? $230. Two hundred and thirty-six. So if you look on the salaries full time, one million nine six nine five three six. So no. if you add in the money for the person, it would be two million twenty-two thousand two hundred six. All of them. Other ancillary costs, uniform allowance. Yeah, All those other things aren't in here. So, uh, I got you. You'll figure it out? Yep. In the budget that you have. Yep. Yeah. Uniform you're allowance, you're holiday pay. You're going to battle next year with education. With this budget. Right. Uniform expense. I mean, quite frankly, I would, again, was coming in like Solomon, I would I definitely agree that the officers should be hired and not wait halfway through the mid-year. And I wanted the officer hired as of July 1st. I really thought that they could hold off on the major thing. So I was going to say make a motion of 32000 to get their officer back. That's, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying it. I know. I know. But now 32 probably isn't the right figure because 52 gets you everything. From what everybody's at and subtracted. I don't know. Better than smoking. For twenty thousand dollars, hey. I mean, I mean, I don't want to be cavalier about twenty thousand dollars, but when you have a budget of forty-six million dollars, yeah. I know. I know. I mean, for twenty thousand, it just changes my mind. That's all. So that that figure increase two point two three six. Fifty-two thousand. Two seven. Yes. They only requested two point nine three for the. Uh, so Willie's giving you the figure that because he raises it. Did they just Chief's figure, okay, does not include the contractual, the settlement, okay? My figures are including the contract, okay? Now, if you added that to the, the Which was Chief's right. just settled, yeah, plus not, whatever, like uh, $58 or something, right? I mean, you just round it up. Yeah. 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 Oh, but if he, if he included that to the it's another hundred grand on the, on that, so it's two million one hundred and ninety something, almost two point two million if you if you have the contract. Right. So so the new salary, the new total budget is, if approved, the new total budget is two million seven oh seven oh four three. What is the two seven oh seven oh four three zero four? That reflects the increase to the salary line of two zero two 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 three six. Do you want to make a motion? Do you revise sure. your motion? Sure. I'd like to make a motion to revise the police budget for fiscal year 2014 to 2015 to a new figure of $2,707,043. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Extensions. All right. Next budget. Animal control. Sixty-four thousand one hundred seventy-nine dollars. Who's that? Animal control. Okay. No problems with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can we get the money for the cup while they're we cutting that? <laughs> no more animals. Or well, we can stop. Yeah. 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 No problem. I got one. No, no problem, sir. Right. Number 18. I hope my number's right. Civil preparedness. Right. It's 5,600. 
hydrants, 340,000. What's happening with that? Street lighting, street lighting. That'll be after. Street lighting. We need it. We need it. Lighting in a bottle. Everyone okay with that one? Yes, sir. Public works. I had a question that I got from Mr. Hollander about um, the extra person. <coughs> when we did the workshop, Pete, we talked about uh, how the uh, department is now doing um, you know, building projects and infrastructure projects. And I got an email from Mr. Hollander, and he just wanted kind of a understanding or a better explanation about the um, what this extra person would be doing on a day-to-day -day type basis. This extra person actually would be working uh, in four or five different locations in the department. The person that would be hired would be a mechanic. So you'll add to our ability to work on equipment in house. He would also be working the Tuesday through Saturday shift, which would allow us to put him in the parks on Saturday. Uh, he would be added to the lawn crew two days a week to assist in doing the town properties currently done by one person. He would be floated into the athletic complexes, depending upon the schedule of the athletic events that come and go. And he would work on the construction crew as the last resort. So he would be basically, we get ourselves into a position where we get into, throughout the year now, we get into a position where we don't have enough manpower to address everything that has to be addressed. So he is the guy that will come in and he's, he's already been with us part time. So he's already very well aware of the inner workings of the department. He's been trained on most of the equipment. And uh, he would also be the substitute tractor trailer driver for the transfer station because he holds that license. And uh, he's, he's a mechanic. Working. He's a certified yeah, mechanic. He's a certified mechanic. Yes, but the stuff that we deal with. He would still not do the stuff that's related to safety, but on the fixing on the electrical, uh, he's already helped us tremendously in a few things like that. So he would just, most of the crews are fairly stable, Brad. In other words, the guys that cut the grass around the town are always the same crew, the same crew. The problem is, is sometimes they need to be supplemented, but it doesn't need to be supplemented every day. Where the parks need to be supplemented, so we get ourselves jammed up, unfortunately, because we have to move people around mm -hmm. to address certain issues that occur. So uh, this will also <coughs> allow me to keep more guys on the construction crew. We've saved, a, as Willie knows, a tremendous amount of money doing our own sidewalks, doing a lot of our own drainage work, uh, doing our own construction work, and there's been problems on the exterior of the buildings, with fixing decks, fixing the decks on the uh, different buildings, refurbishing the Doc Master's office is part of the CNE project. So that's, that's essentially what he would be doing. I hope it would make a difference in our equipment repairs. Any comments on this budget? It's $1,729,073. I would just say, oh, yeah. In uh, 2002, three. You were a 14 person department, Jeff? 14 person. It went down to 13. Uh, even though the contract said that you had to have 13, uh, my predecessor, uh, somebody retired, decided not to restore that person, it went down to 12. And that's where they've been. <coughs> Considering the amount of work that they picked up with the school properties and everything else. And if I remember correctly, a couple years ago we cut the half person, didn't we? Yeah. Because yeah, we cut the part time budget. Budget. Yeah. budget. So I think they've so, taken uh, ahead. I got, I got saddled with plus 20 plus right. grievances when I took all this because of the, the 13 in the contract being violated. Okay. The only thing I would say too is the R&M budget. Is it enough? Is it enough? Mm -hmm. We appropriated another 40,000, right? It's going to be a special time meeting. March 12th. Right. 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 So, Every year we wind up in the position of doing that. Yeah, this I is have, a three-year, five-year average, people. Right. I have, yeah, this is your five-year five average. Five-year average. A little bit higher, but I have a truck that we were done. So I think it was five-year average. Ten years ago? Four years ago? So I think it was five-year average. 
12 years old that will, by the time I'm done this year, repair the sander on it, repair the wires on it, repair all the mechanicals on it, and do the safety on it, it's going to be probably $20,000. Just to keep that truck on the road combination. I have trucks that are 18 years old that I haven't spent $3,000. So there's really no way, there's no way to predict, you know, how it's all going to work out. But I already know that I'm going to have to do some work on my, at least one of my all-season sanders, July 1st. And that's a minimum when the time you're done, it's about five or $6,000 just to do that. If I get hit with a set of tires on any piece of equipment, like my payloaders or any of those, payload tires are $13,000 this year. So I look at those every year. But I mean, that's the type of stuff you want. There's no easy way to do it with the age of the equipment. And if you have a real bad winter like we had this year, you just get killed. There is, right. It is based on an average of. It's five, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, some of the seven, if I have the numbers, we will set All right, 1,729,73. Everyone's good? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Technology, $180,617. Any changes here? Uh, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. The $95,000 salary, is that is both for the Board of Education? No. And that's just yeah, we talked about that last week. No, yeah. there's no more sharing with the Board of it. That's for job and part-time. Because they have their own full-time person. Correct. Right. Thanks for the Board of Education. Eighty-two thousand one hundred twelve dollars with placeholder three hundred. Yeah. I mean, what is the? That's appropriation. Yes. I mean, it's appropriate. Yeah, to the point where they're like, talking. We talk about the top of the hour. They have no, but they have no idea what it would be right. for and what it is. Someday it may happen. It may have to. He did say 55% of that 300,000 say would be for Yeah. Which is, you know, 170 plus grand of that. Yeah. The, the lion's share of this is the two things that are driving this right now is just taking it's surely more more learn to full time, which isn't a lot. Um, and then because it's the bottom of the clerical union. Mm -hmm. And then the legal, because obviously we're we're in with, with property acquisition, uh, uh, just getting on properties to do testing. Last year they had to come back for an appropriation. That's why you see there are 39000 last year. So that's just a bump in that professional services. Okay. So 82112? All right. Health district. You know, I, I didn't see the audit. You saw the audit? Yeah, yeah the audit. Trainer? Yeah, he, he just he went to the back. Okay. Piece of he have it? Oh, yeah, that physically has it. Well, you don't physically have the order for the health district, do you? Isn't building it? We got it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We got it, yeah. yeah. Is it blank? Yeah, it's not in there. User error? User error. <laughs> it's, 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 no problem. It's, back it's per capita. Um, Board of Select recommended $117,387. Any issues with the building? Okay. Thank you, Mary. And then health is... I just haven't... I just didn't see that. I mean, and I can look at it before. Yeah, you know, it's finalized. Health is fine, 171,548. That's what we can Park and rec? It's $267,411. Feature? No. Did no, I say something about employees or? He wanted to move the part-timer to uh, increase the hours, but I said that would make it a union position. Oh, he added money to the part-timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. uh, and that went down. But there's some money increase in the right. part-time right. account as far as that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So 267,411. Everyone's okay? Papa? Papa? No problem. It's a money maker. $2,830. Shellfish, $2,500. Good. Human services, which is now the combined unit. Uh, right. 
$249,560. Any comments here? General Government, four million three hundred ninety-two thousand. Uh, less than five grand. Two more Less than five thousand dollars. Percentage. Yeah. Because I, I got the big, I got the big, I got the big razor and a big bottle of shaving cream on. That's fine. Blade is dull now. Jerry said, "Come here, Chef." Jerry, no. So we're good. Yes, sir. No comments about this one. No. Sir. All right. The general government. Now, we're just talking about the contingency fund. It's at one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Just, just want to make sure that we're comfortable with that number. Then. That's all. Val? Yeah. 100,000? We're at 77 now, sir. How much have we in March? How much have we spent from under the news surplus on that? Before March 12th, which is another million twenty-two. 52,000, right? Okay. 36 for, for planning. How long does it need a surplus? So before, before we did the big, the big Before the million. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. It was 14 for that drop, uh, 69 for the police pension, 36 for CME, and 10,000 for the assessor. So uh, roughly 46, uh, 140, 150, about 150, 160,000. For my designate. If the March 12th, especially the EU, passes. It doesn't seem good In your mind, how do you feel, what do you feel is the distinction between when we take something out of undesignated versus contingency? It's still not very clear. Depends what you put it out into, the, that's the other part of it. Well, contingency is supposed to be like an emergency, an unanticipated something happens, an un and you need some bucks with, with an operating up. Because if you pull money out of right. designated and apply it towards operating, if you look at the audit, I'll tell you you'll see what our, our, our budgeted expenses were Last year was and then what the final million. budgeted expense were because we appropriated money out of undesignated into operating. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take it out of contingency, it's just rolling within right. operating. Right. right. Exactly. It increases yep. our overall expenditures. So last year, town meeting approved 46208104 and our final was 48,318,000, million, a change of 1.1 million. And the, and the, the, Which is about what we're running right now. And there's a, but there's semantics involved with that. When you take, when you take and, and some of that money shouldn't have been put in operating. The hurricane money shouldn't have been put in operating. That should have been set outside. Exactly. Because that wasn't initially they don't budgeted you for. With the rules you can, you can put it into Fund 31, into the capital. Into the capital fund. Because it carried year to year. Right. So was that a... Mm -hmm. Well, it was... Yeah. Right. Our finance director shouldn't have done that. That's all I can say. It was an unnecessary thing. Yeah. It's an unnecessary thing. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to know too much about this stuff. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to be so fast to get a more. No, so, just with that in mind. You've got to have a real good social life to do this kind of stuff. I mean, I think our contingency is a lot lower right. compared to what, you know, other towns have as a percentage of their budget. I do too, but if we're not going to touch appropriated surplus, then what's that? What do you think? I mean, it's like you're comfortable with the hundred. There's only one contract, right? So it's probably going to be done quickly. There's two contracts, but there, there's 13 people in two contracts, so it's not. The other part of it is... Deal. We don't know what we're running. We never know. Surplus. Yeah. That's surplus. Well, let's say what we had last year we had an operating deficit because we had reimbursements. Yeah. Most of money. You take that. You take that stuff in. It, it doesn't. It, it's surplus, but it's not. If you take the storm money in, it's right. reimbursement. It's revenue. You know, your revenues are going to run high, higher than we always budget for. Uh, a lot of it because we're conservative. 
because we're concerned. You're going to see the revenues coming from one hand and one little more aggressive based on what we're doing in the last five years and the last couple of years. I worry about the dwindling surplus and then if we don't have undesignated okay. monies to appropriate from mm -hmm. and we have a contingent that's only 100000 then we put in jeopardy um, the 7 10% for the property. You know, keeping it at 4.6. Right, keeping it at 10%. Because 10% is a good number. Okay. It was Conservative good. even by what some old yeah. gentleman said. Yeah, some thousand. Well, not many pounds, unless you're down in the south right. corner of the state or putting in more than 10% right. and, and keeping it in circle. Something to think about. Okay. Well, we'll um, keep it where it is. We'll yeah. The town meeting. I, I, mean, I, I don't know if this gives down. you much factor, but the you undesignated know, fund balance June 30th of 11 was 7 million 350 to start the year. And then on 12, it was 7217000 In the beginning of 13, this present fiscal uh, thing was 7169 So really, the, the undesignated has only gone down historically yeah. by about $200,000. You, you know we're not going to have much anticipated surplus just based on where the board of it is right now. Yeah. A year ago, they came in at 900 plus as an anticipated surplus. After we made him spend the town, we got 600. And, and we're gonna, if we're going to make him spend 200 and something thousand out of you're going to three. Yeah. And I don't anticipate. I'm anything. saying, the undesignated has not been getting whacked no. for the last three or four years. It's only gone down by about 300,000 in four years. It's the same time. 2.5 will be whacked out of it. Well, 3.3 will be. Look at the numbers. I don't know. 3.3, 3.3, 3.4 of it. You're going to make changes on that. 3.3, 3.4 of it have been a rescue truck, a hurricane, a tropical storm hurricane, and a blizzard. That's where it comes from. I don't know. I, I think the contingency is fine right where it is right now. I mean, what do we spend? We just we only spent like, uh, you know. Now we just sell a lease contract. Right? So 40 plus 50,000 on that is going to get whacked mm -hmm. at the end of the fiscal year to offset the salary. I mean, thank God. I don't want to get a big swollen head or nothing, but we got a board of finance here that finally decided that the contingency fund is not like another auxiliary checking account. We've only spent something like thirty-five, twelve, twenty-two thousand dollars this year. But you know, from the from the well, contingency. One point two million from the surplus. No, but I'm just, it comes from but you'll always spend from the uh, uh, from the surplus. No, always. It's four point eight. Because million. there's always a project that comes up. I mean, when you look at the uh, undesignated surplus, look at the things we bought. I mean, you know, new accounting system, three hundred thousand. Look at it from another perspective. Then. I mean, perspective of debt service over the next two, three, four fiscal years. We just have to make sure that we're keeping an eye on what that. Fund balance. I'm sure we do. Yeah, there's no problem. I, I, just, I, mean, I feel comfortable. Things are coming. Bringing it up. Things are coming. We bought a truck. Serving it for posterity. We bought a fire truck for eight hundred and eight thousand dollars out of Kentucky. Out of the undesignated surplus. That's how good we were. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I just said, yeah, we got, we got funds. Me and Dennis get together. <laughs> We so we're good. We're going to move other general government the way it is. Couple yes, sir. All right. Um, debt redemption. Town. One million five hundred forty-six thousand eight hundred eighty-two dollars. Debt redemption. Wait a minute. What did I skip? Quarterback. We already did quarterback. No, debt redemption. Board of Education. Can we do a library before we get into the I'd be happy to do that. Yes, I'd be happy to do that. Um, no problem. Redemption order. Hey, you guys got to move up on the, the list instead of the last. No, we should go off about it. It's okay to speak up. I apologize. Um, order for that debt redemption is $67,222. Okay? It is what it is. Library. So I have a comment about no the library and what we what we were presented with because that's not what the library requested. And on the last workshop, the people now they're here from the library, but they actually looked very surprised that they 
didn't have in there what they requested. And I so I looked and I even looked back at the minutes in the board of select meetings, and nowhere in the minutes did it say that the board of selectmen approved any decrease. We didn't and approve. We don't approve until the last meeting. Yeah, I didn't look at the last meeting. Yeah, they did. It is. No, it's not the minutes, and they came they did. forward with a budget. I guarantee you, they did. Well, we're not saying they didn't, but we just we weren't informed. We didn't know that. Right. Okay, there there was a, and we don't inform because if you don't come to the meeting, you don't come to the meeting. There, there was an error in the sheet, and basically, when we were looking at the sheet in our books, it did not have the request, which was seven fifty-two. Correct. No, but two. And. So, Right. So the request was 752, right. which even here oh, it's not accepted. And that's in the back of the Okay, we should get everybody's attention. Yeah, I, I know. And then so the request was 752. And I believe the reason I heard the board of selectmen say for the reduction was that everybody else had to make cuts, so they should too. There was anybody that came in over? We cut everybody. A little okay. bit here, a little bit there. That's what um, we do. It's absolutely All right? inaccurate. But, That's what we do. But, but no. I, I, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> and based on my consistency. Look at everybody's okay. request, Lori. No, I've done it. Lori, I'll just get time out. Time out. First of all, oh, it's, it's not a reduction. It's a reduction of a request. It's a reduction of a request. Correct. So, so everybody, look at everybody's request. Typically, they're all higher than what they ended up at. All right. Go ahead, Tom. So, they, they were held to a 0%. Mm -hmm. um, increase. Now, there maybe two other departments are held to a 0% increase. And again, I, I've said this before, I don't necessarily, and I'll be consistent in my message, I don't like the randomness of it. You have a board who has worked hard to present a budget. And again, now this is the third area, and I feel I'm very consistent in my message. When you have a board that works very hard to present a budget, we should respect it and especially not be random about the cuts just because we're trying to foresee the future of what people will and won't support. And the library of all people I think we've seen over the past few years has done an incredible amount of work of getting people to understand their budget and to come out and actually vote. So I just think that this just flat out saying you get zero while we talk about everybody else um, is not really based on a lot of science and would like to request that the Board of Finance consider their actual budget that they presented. A motion? Well, is there any more discussion? Yeah, make a motion for discussion. I'll make a motion, sure. I'll make a motion to reinstate to what they recommended. 752, 750. Yeah, and the reason for that, and this is, you know, there's a real inconsistency here. You have uh, boards and commissions. Do we have a second? Yes. But I can't. I can't. Who's second? Lori. I can't. I can't. Yeah. 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 Discussion. Okay. Um, you have every, virtually every department in the town, every commission in the town, uh, they're represented by, and employees in the town, they're represented by collective bargaining for the most part. And uh, we see in all of our budgets here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that, and I'm not including the library anymore, that um, <clears throat> there were requests that were made for increased budgets on the basis of uh, increases in salary that were part of collective bargaining. Why doesn't the library And the, the library has, doesn't have collective bargaining, but <clears throat> they, in fact, had a salary increase of $34,000 this year and over last year. And the, the, this was offset in their budgets by a lot of savings of what they're encouraged to do. Savings on utilities for wood uh, and contracts that they've done, actually materials, lots of different things that were put in. And so the request was a 1.61 or 2 increase, percentage increase, on the original budget. 
And basically, the Board of Selectmen, I, I, it seems, decided that they should have an absolutely flat increase. So that basically tells them that they need to like eat all those salary increases or else cut materials more, cut, you know, other things, programming, cut, you know, subscriptions to some of the, you know, various things that people are involved with, uh, you know, at the library. I mean, and, and they do have a fund which they do factor in the earnings into their requested budget. It's already factored in. And they you don't know if that's going to happen or not. But again, those earnings on that fund are factored into what they requested. And so I think what we're saying is you're right. If they're going to give their people a raise, which we've seen in all the other budgets, that there's either a contractual raise or a 2% raise. So, it, you know, why the library doesn't deserve the raise, I don't know. But it, if they were to give their people a raise, it means a cut in other things. Yeah, in, in, in May I say one thing? Yep. Did they or did they not make a profit last year? $75,000. No, it's not $75,000. That's unrealized gains. That's you know unrealized, unrealized gains. Okay, what was the cash profit? That's assets. Maybe 20 maybe 10. Maybe. What was it? Um, I'm sure it was more than 20. And, and it was enough to pay for their salary increases. No, absolutely not. But you don't, not at you all. can't predict what, so the year before was in, a loss. In theory, the if the salary increases are 30 plus thousand, they've already absorbed some. And this is the part where you, Dave Reynolds said, what did you guys spend your money on last year that you didn't come into town to pay for? We did. It was cut out of the... Uh, well, we spent, we spent uh, $48,000 to complete the bathroom. The town gave us forty two, the project was ninety thousand. We took that out of our restricted building fund. So that was forty eight thousand that we did not ask the town for. Um, and, you know, and here's the way I look at it, eleven thousand and change, it's a little less than twelve thousand dollars, and we approved an extra person for DPW and we put fifty two cents back in or after that, I said, why not? You have to get you know, at least fifty cents to fifty three thousand back. And that's so the answer question. To answer your question, the audit said that they made $90,000 if, the if, if, if you subtract out the unrealized gains, they made $27,000. In 2012, they lost $41,000. If you subtract out the unrealized gains, they lost $19,000. When you have investments like that, it's a fluctuation with the market. So so if nobody can predict it, you can predict it. We all want to Or something that. else. Because they took a B. No, we got, they got it all back. back. We got it back. They got it all back. Because they get, get up the ball. But they're not the first target. No, I understand it. Not my first target. I was actually, glad to see the way it was. They're actually the target on this budget. Well, well I actually, we got it for another time. Lori, see, let's, let's look down. Okay, okay. So, Lori, look at the requests and look where it's some of these requests are now. Holy crap. It's another $11,000. That's $11,956 rather than randomly. Park and Rec asked for 293000 They got knocked back to two sixty seven. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we made a motion. For any other discussion? All, discussion? All, right. all in favor, 11,956 back in the library budget, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. 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 Three, three. Okay. I need another motion. Or we can just move on to the 740 We got, We got just the total town budget total. You, you want to make any other changes? Any other Before motions? Before you go to capital, you got to approve the, okay. the town and then capital. Mm -hmm. We're on CC. Mm -hmm. All right. Any comments? What are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Are we happy with 904-200, or are we doing anything in this budget? Yep. You're doing on the first page? No, I did the individual ones, and it's okay, same. Well, we it, it, it should go right there. <laughs> it should go right there. Nice speed load. Yep. Yeah, right. That's Anything? Selectman, capital, technology, fire, any changes at all in any of these? Adding in, subtracting, 
Can we do anything about the offset, Dennis, for any of these other budgets? The only one we increased was uh, the only one increased was the police. police.
Uh, I reckon. Make a motion that we submit a town budget of sixteen million sixty-five dollars. Six. Sixteen million sixty-five thousand one hundred and twenty-eight dollars for the town budget. To go to the public hearing. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Abstentions? Right, motion carries. Okay, so always passing out revenue sheets. And then the total? Total is. And then I got to do the board of it. Then we got to do the board of it. Now I make a motion. Okay. Make a motion to submit the Board of Education budget. Thirty-two million four hundred and thirty-one dollars. I'm sorry. Thirty-two million four hundred and thirty-one thousand ninety-eight dollars to go to town here. Discussion. All in favor say aye. All right. Aye. aye. Opposed. Abstention. see some adjustments that I made based on our audits um, over the last several years. I'm totally disabled person. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a grant for this town. It's not included in the governor's budget, but it's a grant we get annually. And it's the average is uh, eleven twelve hundred dollars so I increased from seven hundred to a thousand. We've always been very conservative, I'm trying to be a little less conservative but still on the conservative side we're not gonna break the piggy bank by going crazy on the revenues. Uh, boat reimbursement went away a long time ago. Property tax relief vets stayed the same. It's 15000 State miscellaneous, if you look at the five-year average of what we get, those are all different things based on town clerk fees, et cetera, that we, that we get back from the state. Um, the five-year average, and we can track back. So you all the way back to the way in 09, we got 1500 bucks. We've gone 183000 18000 95000 94000 So the five-year average is actually like closer to 80000 so we ramped it up to 75000 And then, again, if you want to look back through the audits, you can see that telephone access lines. That's actually been declining a little bit, uh, so I dropped that. Yep. Well, that was done as an incentive to get the town to town stuff here. Once they did, they started cutting that slowly back as they always did. Low SIP stayed the same, 2.9. Uh, the manufacturing equipment credit, for some reason, went away. It was taken out last year, it wasn't put in last year. And put 100 back because uh, we called the state and it's still there. And we didn't, we kind of, look what we got last year based on the audit, okay, 384. State property grant has gone away. Tax relief is an annual thing that we get for some reason. Uh, put it in last year. Right. Yeah. And then uh, and then the, the whole harmless grant, which is an offset to some of the things that you see that previously in the governor's budget were zeroed out, stays the same. It's a 181979. So the, the anticipated state revenue on the town side is 899963, which is a jump. I actually think we put that down in the very last minute last year. We did. That's the problem. Right? Who's? Hmm. Was it, that was a bargaining chip for somebody up there. Hmm. Okay. ECS. 
again, the second year biennial, and this is based on what we got last year. It's uh, 26000 more than last year, 26000 Our special ed reimbursement, and that's based on, you know, that's the Board of Ed estimate, and that's in their budget uh, based on the formula. And, uh, and I said the five year average actually is 412. I thought the Jack today, and their budget is holding 400. So, okay. And then the special ed tuition. Reimbursement, which is actually for transportation, it's, it's, uh, it's different than so that's 41. It pretty much stays the same every year. So you see a little bit of a bump in that. Mm -hmm. About 80 grand, it's about 80, 86 grand, 85 grand in that. In that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then all our other ones, uh, the town based <coughs> ones. And, you know, we go to the tax collector, interest liens, fees. See what we bring in on an annual basis based on the audit, and that's why you know staying the same. Talk to Mel, uh, doesn't want to increase any of these beyond last year. And if you look at the audit, obviously, that what we brought in this year is getting tighter and tighter. Um, the sub motor vehicle, motor vehicle is doing, uh, doing well, so we did bump that a little bit. Water assessment license fees that's uh, on Was and trust. Uh, and that's based on uh, the average what we've been getting and uh, talking to uh, uh, trust holders. Uh, so I was able to bump that up to only 4,000 up to 40. Um, Watson Rentals, we've been doing very well and we anticipate to be even higher, even than what I anticipated because now we fixed everything and it's used continuously um, and we've actually bumped our fees a little bit. So we did move yeah. to the thousand. Where's those fees? Based on a recommendation of the committee. When we look at the, we can, well, we did just bump them, so we'll see how that goes. Boat moorings and launch uh, ramp passes, obviously, you see, since we've redone the marina, where we're going. Um, and, uh, so we bumped it up to 100. The uh, ZBA stays at 500, so a little more on that. Zoning fees way up this year. This past year, the actual, so we did bump that. Beach passes uh, pretty much every year we're, we're, we're above what we request, so we bumped it up by 1500 not a ton, but there is an increase. And you see in the town stuff is not Conveyance, now we're getting back to where we were years ago. We'll never get back there probably, but we're getting closer. So we did, we're able to bring that up a little bit. Investment income, I dropped by 10000 Look yeah, we'll look where we were, you know, and where we are. Mm -hmm. um, back to the glory days, then. Remember that? Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, we were budgeting 400 grand at one point, and, and you know, now we're down to 70. So uh, that's that's reality. Hit. The uh, building fees were bumped again. And, 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 and listen to Justin. If he was here last week for his presentation, you would have heard how busy he are, how much money they're bringing in. Mm -hmm. So I'm anticipating a good year there. Town property rentals, some of the outside buildings that we rent, et cetera. That's been going up annually. Transfer station. What are those buildings? Yeah, it's just when they rent out park and rack and uh, oh. yeah, across the street academy building, the AA uses it, the Allen, uh, all those happy groups, they use it and they give us some money. And we'll have the new community room this year. I'm not going to get into that discussion, Mr. Farmer. What we're going to do, we can't do it right now. <laughs> Maybe. So uh, that brings in some money for us. Transfer station, uh, we've been doing much better on that. So uh, based on our audit, we bumped it up by 2500 Plus now we raise the fees, Pete, right? That'd be good. Scrap metal, we were doing great. Obviously, the prices of the scrap have come down. But we're still doing better than what we've been budgeting, so we're able to bump that by about 2,500 bucks. And I remember the day, right, Jeff, when when the metal manager used to come pick it up for, from us for nothing. For free. Yes. For free. Eddie, free. Eddie, will he come get it for nothing? Yeah. He said, why don't we take it on yeah. yourself and we'll make money on it? Now all of a sudden we have a revenue stream. I was waiting, I was waiting to see if there's going to be a head of the horse in the mailbox after that. Yeah. All right. Dog boarding fees stay in the same tomorrow. Inland wetland fees, we kept it the same, 1100 
The one you're going to see, the miscellaneous, uh, I mean, five-year average, you know, we're, we're bringing in close to 100000 or more a year on that. Those are miscellaneous revenues from all different things. It's, it's the police department with the outside duty work. Those things aren't quite getting into your, even though you have some miscellaneous fees down below, the majority of the miscellaneous stuff that comes in, insurance checks that come in, things like that, that all goes into that line. Just the permit fees? All that stuff. Yeah. Well, no, just, those are your miscellaneous. Yeah, you'll see down below. It's down below. So I did bump that. I mean, I took the average of the five years and, and, and we just shortened ourselves <coughs> on that, you know, budget for. And then now you have the police miscellaneous fees, which is all the stuff that Todd just, you know, the thing he just mentioned, pistol permit fees and this and that. Um, and we run 10, 12, 13,000 a year on that. So that budget uh, was at seven, I moved it to 10. The town clerk fees, I kept it the same. Um, although we're, you know, they're busy and they're busier and busier, regardless of what you say. The, uh, you never know. Listen, but the, the state takes a bigger chunk now than they used to, so she's not keeping as much of the money. So I keep it. I kept it the same. Still eighty-five thousand in the vitals, which are recordings and that kind of stuff. Like that. It's at ten thousand. That's at the thousand increase based on if you look back at the run. And then uh, in the contractual service. So the big. That's the police, the big one. But I kept it at twenty. We had a boom a couple years with the CLMP work and this and that going on and unfortunately now with the shortage in staff we can't even staff, can't even staff. we had this discussion you know, a year ago about make it voluntary instead of mandatory because if you're going to don't force the guys to work this stuff it's not shift related if they, don't, if they want it fine Good for them. The sale of fixed assets well we've sold some stuff uh, over the last few years but we never know what's going to come up Last year was a dare truck and some other things. A couple of years ago was a piece of property for 19 grand, so we just don't even budget for that. You don't know what's going to Workman's comp, uh, if you look back, what we, we've, been, we've been getting pretty good. We get a pretty good dividend check at the end of the year. There's only one year that we get in. So I put in 35. And then we don't have any transfers. That's always at the end of the day. I don't know why listed there or was listed and then the appropriated surplus is down to 150. So it is a bump, pretty good bump in the, in the town fees, permits, etc. Yeah. So that sheet's uh, one point, it's over. I don't think that it's yeah, it's a quarter million. Yes, 85. Oh, overall, there, overall, overall man, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. The total thing, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 And then that goes to that sheet that I passed out at the beginning. Even with that. And that's going to change based on time. So, not much. It's not. Right. <coughs> so that's it. We hear anything different? Revenue wise, reflected at the. I'd love to. The numbers are the numbers. Right. But still, we're not, we're not breaking the piggy bank on that. All right. Taking a chance of going negative. Most of it's based on a trend, and the trend is a big good. I mean, the idea that you can instead of 1.2% surplus, you might go away. Who knows? I don't want to run a deficit. We're not going to run a deficit. Like Tom Hollinger said a couple weeks ago, that we, we, yeah, outside we did run it. Like by propane surplus into operating, you're running a deficit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. educated. That's all that. Questions? Look at those numbers. Because compared last year's operating, which was negative, you know, but for the 1.3 or 1.2 million that was done through special meetings, Surplus and the uh, refunds in the hurricanes. Right. All right. And what are we should get money back now? Surely's on top of it. Right, right. With the clean water. Have we got any 
Regular. Regular. So coming in the morning. Regular. Regular stream. Okay. Every time there's an invoice, she sends it in. All right. Um, any other comments? Right. Motion adjourned. Second. All in favor? Say aye. Aye. aye.